Yeah, so I'm gonna assume that uh, some of y'all remember town of Bethel talked about uh, living across the street from a satanic cult over there at a park. Um, possibly not witnessing, but hearing possibly a, a sacrifice of some sort. <coughs> Excuse me. Smoking. But just, uh, you know, because you remember that episode of South Park, you know, and you'll see why in a couple seconds, where they, they, they get them, them the, the South Park motherfuckers from a parallel universe, and they all got weird mustaches, even though they're kids, and like Cartman's the only nice one. Okay. Bet, now, now, keep in mind why I say the connection that I just said. And I made sure y'all knew where this was. My boy filmed this. Um, credit him, Skinny D. Williams. He used to he used to rent out. Uh, well, you know what I'm saying. He was renting a room, and, and I met him through that basically. So, uh, not from me, but from one of my people. So, long story short, uh, yeah, this is in literally. I I you literally have been in this store hundreds of times with my mom as a kid. You see what I'm saying, like. Bethel's right around the corner from Danbury. So I've been in this store hundreds of thousands of times, probably. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I was right where this motherfucking shit has happened at hundreds of times, at least. So what you're going to see is this 38-year-old man child, at least 38. His hair starting to go gray, and he, he looks at least past the age of 36. Yakuza kick or mafia kick for those of you who who ever watched pro wrestling a lot as a kid like I used to it's it's basically like a uh a kick where like it's sort of like a big boot but like you jackhammer at the end of it so you like sort of spin out of it like you would with a super kick sort of but basically yeah he fucking uh he hits his pitch with a Yakuza kick right to the face and then forearms her. And he's in a full-on Spider-Man outfit without the mask. He has, every, he has the whole, like, this is why I say he was a, literally a, a fucking grown-ass man in a Spider-Man costume with no mask. Right when this fucking new Spider-Man movie comes out in a town that I have witnessed things that are, are most likely of a satanic nature. Okay, a, a town that... From what I heard from somebody whose family member is involved with Danbury PD, Danbury is investigating for potential things like that. So keep that in mind, and, and I'm gonna roll the clip. What, bitch? What, bitch? What, fuck you, so you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, there's not really some uh, the the dude who films this. Uh, I I didn't know about this that he did shit like this to like. A few years after the last time I've seen him, right? I came out of prison, a cop on my Facebook shit. He films shit like this all the time. He's from that area. Um, and basically, he, he I think, stopped filming there because knowing the type of person he is, he's like me. He's, at that point, going after that motherfucker. Uh, most likely. So, I don't know exactly what happened there, but I thank him for filming it, and I hope he's not in jail. And I hope that if he did what I think he did, the police at least understood it. But, uh, yeah, thank God, man, because that was, it, like I said, like the episode of South Park where the motherfuckers come from a parallel universe and there's there's just that little thing that's different, but it makes their whole personality different. You see what I'm saying? Like, that dude did not have the Spider-Man. He had everything but the Spider-Man mask. And what was he doing? For no context whatsoever, I wish I would. That's one thing I wish I could have seen what was going on right before it. But from what I've seen, and I find it really like it's not funny, but it's kind of funny that the dude who works at the Big Y is dressed sort of like a UFC referee would be dressed. It's kind of funny. He's got the black gloves, the black short sleeve uh, tucked in. It's it's kind of ironic, but that situation was not funny. That that was that was fucked. Like, I just want to know why. You see what I'm saying? Like, I was laughing at it when I was watching it to myself a few times. Because I was like, why? Like, it was just, you ever look at, like, you see something and it's like, you laugh because you're like, 
I just don't understand. This is fucked up. Like, I shouldn't be laughing at this, but I just, I can't help it. They, this just don't make sense in, the, in, like, a funny way. And it's terrible. That was what it was. Like, so, I hope that woman's okay. I really hope that woman's okay. Uh, don't condone no violence to women, period. I, I mean, if that was me recording, I would stop the recording right there. And I, I probably wouldn't be making this video right now. I'd probably be sitting in county um, on some charges. So, be easy, y'all, but be safe out there. That shit is weird. And think about what the one before this was. Something about the multiverse. There was no way home.